they'll gross close to half a million dollars on this week's sale alone. Two or three thousand dollar park. Hold on, fishing reels? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the wild world of pallet auctions. We're here at Erklands and Olsen Pallet Auctioneers in Salt Lake City. Tailor made drivers in here with the wrappers still on them? Brand new putters? This is unbelievable. And they have an entire warehouse full of treasures. Basically what happens is when stuff gets lost in the mail or in shipping, it gets sent here. They then put it up for auction on their website for guys like you and guys like me to buy and then turn around and make money. And this entire warehouse is up for grabs at an auction that is going right now and ends tomorrow morning. And we're gonna cover the process from start to finish to show you how you can make some extra cash side hustling pallet auctions. We're also probably gonna spend a load of money here. So buckle up and let's go see what they got. But I mean, what you can't see, we have probably 50 racks all online ready to go of just, it's crazy. Cool. Does it go way, way high? It went for like half a million dollars. What, dude? Awesome ammo. Is it one lot? No, no, we sell them by the... the sh and you're getting new stuff every week? Yeah. New ammo? Yeah, it comes just like this. That's so weird. It's <laughs> so awesome. You no, know, this whole world is like, it's crazy. This is a golden goose. It is. That's it's, awesome. It's, it's good for you. Are you kidding me right now? That's a brand new golf club. Brand new driver. Those are like five, six hundred bucks. Guitar? Couldn't tell you what that's worth. Mailbox? Have you seen the mailbox? This is absurd. Advil, man. Soaps. We got those things. Those things. A slot. Are you kidding me right now? Advil, man. Whatever, this is copper. All right, guys. So we're obviously here at this giant warehouse filled with all sorts of treasures. And this is the man himself, Mr. Robert Olson. He runs this business with his family, right? Your yeah, dad, your family. brother. It's third generation. You guys were started as an auction company. Yep. Just selling started estate sales yep. and stuff All like that. All the above. Mm -hmm. And then you found a pretty cool niche where stuff gets lost in the mail. Lots of stuff gets lost in the mail. And when stuff gets lost, they say, hey, Robert, can you sell this for me? That is correct. So how does this work? What do you, what, 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 walk me through point A to point Z of this business. Yeah, so we get truckloads full of business. Before COVID, we were getting three to five trucks a week. Yeah. COVID hit and e-commerce went from what they thought would take five years, took seven weeks. Now we get six to eight trucks a day from our various Jeez. partners. Oh boy, guys. Oh, today's the day. Listen, you guys already know that I have a lot of cool toys, right? Helicopters, razors, all kinds of stuff. But one thing that I've learned is I like surprises. I like a little bit of mystery. So that's why I signed up for Bespoke Post. Now listen, Bespoke Post is a company. They figure out what you're into, the, you know, what, all the sorts of different things that you like. And with that information, they send you a monthly box with all sorts of goodies. And guys, I'm telling you right now, the stuff they send me is so damn exciting. And what I wanna do is open it with you. You ready for this? First item of business. Oh, hell yeah. They sent me a headlamp. And not just any old headlamp. That looks like a legit headlamp. 600 lumens, shines for 150 meters. Just randomly showed up in my box. And guess who needs a headlamp? This guy, because I broke my headlamp in the last video that we filmed. Next item of business that they sent me is, oh, a freaking hatchet. That's actually a really nice hatchet. And it comes with a blade cover, which I'm super stoked about. That's awesome. Next item in the box is, ooh a Damascus steel knife. See, sharp, oh yeah, cutting straight through cardboard. That's a nice knife. This is what I love about Bespoke, is they figure out what my interests are, right? And so I go to their website and I fill out this online quiz and I tell them obviously like I'm into outdoor adventure, I'm into like utility, I'm into all these different things that, and they sent me a headlamp, a hatchet, a knife and, what is this? I hope it's a corn dog. Oh, a machete. Dude, 
This might be the best bespoke box I've ever received. Now here's the deal guys, all this is worth over like $70. Usually in most cases it's worth a lot more. So you sign up, right? Go to their website, fill out the online questionnaire, you tell them what you're into, whether it's home and garden or you know food or outdoor adventures or a million other things. And with that information, they custom tailor a box specifically for you. Obviously they know that I'm into like outdoor adventures and they wanna see me out there using these products. And that's why they sent me a machete, a hatchet, a knife, a freaking headlamp. So 90% of the products that come in the Bespoke Post boxes come from small businesses, many of which are based right here in the US. And you only pay for what you want. Before your box is shipped, you'll get a preview of what comes inside to decide if you'd like to one, keep it, two, swap it for a different box or offer, or three, skip the month entirely for absolutely no charge. Guys, this is probably one of my favorite surprises that I receive every single month. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna give you 20% off. If you guys wanna sign up with Bespoke and give them a shot and see how the first month goes and see if you get as excited as I am, I'm gonna give you 20% off your first box. Bespokepost.com forward slash Sparks20 and use the promo code Sparks20 and bing bam, thank you ma'am. You're gonna enjoy yourself a nice box of amazing goodies. Super pumped for the partnership with Bespoke. Super pumped that they sponsored today's video. And I'm super pumped for you to get surprised, just like I just was, by this awesome company. So click the link in the description below, and sign up, and get a surprise. And then each truck comes with a specific pallet, right? Yeah, it actually comes like this. And so we just wheel it over. You guys don't do any sorting or anything like that, basically? We used basically. to sort it, and we yeah. fight each other every day, and we hated our life, yeah. and we finally said, we're just gonna leave it in the pallet, but yeah. then pallet auctions became kind of buzzworthy. Right. And now it's super popular, and we get probably uh, 500 plus bidders on it every week. So people bid online because COVID and stuff. Yep. You don't worry about people coming through here. Nope. Now, something I need to explain is we're obviously here looking at the pallets and stuff. Um, that's because We've known Robert forever, we're yeah. buddies. We wanted to come see his business. We're also gonna be customers yeah. at uh, today slash tomorrow sale. So the way this works is they have all these pallets lined up, right? They put a lot number on the pallet. Robert and his team come through here. They take a couple pictures. They're like, yeah, this one's got this, that. And they give you a brief description of what they can see. Yeah. But what I was just told is you don't really necessarily dig to the bottom. No, I like to say people buy based off of what they can't see just right. as much as what they can. It's like the thrill of the hunt, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you guys then... People find a lot of good stuff they never tell us about. Really? So you categorize the items, you put them online, and then you open up bidding the day before, like on a Wednesday? It's actually all week. Okay. Yeah, so we'll start next week's Friday. Yeah. So, and then, it, yeah. So basically every Thursday morning is when this gets really hot because that's when the bids start ending. So let's say, I'll give you a good example. This is lot number six or 109, right? Yeah. This, hit your website whenever you hit your website. I if I'm a regular right customer... Now, Oh yeah, he can pull it up right here on his phone. So if I'm a customer and I wanna, if I go to their website and I see, oh, Lot 109, that's cool. I've been looking for a Roomba vacuum. I've been I'm looking for this to see what the Roomba is worth right now. Although I don't know everything that's in this box. It's at $250 right now. So this oh, box, is that this whole pallet no, is at $250. Who's that guy? I don't know, see, we, just, random we always had, he's probably in here somewhere. So <laughs> yeah. throughout the day today, today's a Wednesday, tomorrow morning, um, is when the bids start getting real spicy and one of you or one of me or anybody who's bidding on this is gonna say, I'm willing to pay $600 or $700. If I'm the high bidder, I win the box. After the sale ends in the morning, mm -hmm. they then open the doors to the warehouse and people come collect their loot. So let's say I bought this for $700. I load up the entire pallet, which is lot 109. I take it home and I start discovering what treasures I have. And as a pallet auction buyer, People do this like professionally, right? Very much so. Uh, you know, you're, you're fighting against other people who think that they might know what's in that box or they see a picture of that guy that you just saw and they know that that's worth X amount. So that determines how much people are willing to bid. But do we talk about what an average price is? Sure. What, 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 what's an average pallet sell for? Between four and six hundred dollars. Okay. And we have everyone, sorry to catch No, you. you're good. We have everyone from people buying one pallet a week right. to people spending fifty to a hundred thousand dollars a week here. Seriously. Yeah. Shit. Everyone from are we, are we gonna be the fifty to hundred. Everyone from stay-at-home moms to people with genuinely twenty employees, like big operations. Here's what I love about this video. Um, 
This is gonna be a popular video for you. That's seriously. the thing. Pallet auctions Pallet are really popular are buzzwords. No, they YouTube are right now. They but are. What people are seeing on that is usually the buyer side of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're showing the buyer and the seller no, that's side, cool. no. which is what I this think people good. are gonna get this super stoked be about. Good for you guys, seriously. And hopefully. One thing you guys have seen we do on this channel like crazy is we try to show you different ways to make money. That's why we buy entire properties full of scrap metal and we hope that we're gonna make you know money on the scrap and yeah. we've done pretty well on that. You guys love those videos. So this is another opportunity. If you want a good side good hustle, get a hold of these guys. We're gonna have their website plastered all over the place. Go to the website after we're done bidding, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and jump on and buy a pallet and see what happens because may win you may lose I, I i bet it's pretty rare that people lose money on their pallets it, we know people make money because they come back every week with a smile on their face and hand us more money really seriously so that's a pretty good indication that's working so for a side hustle we joke you can do this or you can drive drunk oh. strangers around late at night in your car Dude, so <laughs> yeah. the reason we're doing this video is a couple of different things a we are preparing to buy a load of these pallets <laughs> tonight and tomorrow morning when this auction is up and running and then we have a very special treat for you guys, which I'll tell you at the end of the video, because uh, I just think you guys are really gonna like what we do with this stuff and it's gonna benefit you greatly. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start just kind of taking a peek. We're gonna walk around. Keep in mind, this is not something that anybody can do. You can't just come in here and walk around simply because COVID we, we and get all asked the different that. stuff. We get 10 phone calls a day right. of people asking to so come So don't ask if you can come look because they're gonna say no. And you know what we say? We say it's so unfair, it's fair, yeah. that nobody has access. Yep. So yeah. you guys, safe. And the first person, you're looking at the same pictures. Yep. yep. And it's the thing fair. is, we're it's actually fair, novices to this, so there's probably people <laughs> sure. that we're gonna be bidding against that know way better what the worth probably. is and what the value is. So uh, just, just I'm saying that because I want you guys to understand that there's not like an unfair advantage here with us buying this stuff. Um, we're simply here to show you guys the ins and the outs in the process, and they're not gonna give us any homie deals, no bro deals. Like no we have to pay, <laughs> we have to be the highest bidders, otherwise it doesn't work. And the reason for that is because these guys have an obligation to pay the shippers. Where they, where they don't just get this stuff for free and they don't just buy it for pennies and say, oh, here's a little bit of money. They have to take the proceeds. Keep in mind, they're like a broker, right? Yeah. You're a middleman where if a shipper loses this pallet, they're saying, hey, Robert, can you sell this for us? Give us whatever the money is. They make their money by making a percentage of whatever sells. So it's a really killer business model. I love what you guys do. Thank you. You guys have found like the ultimate niche. <laughs> for now, yeah. Yeah. Um, Our family business has been in business for 45 years and been for profit for four years. <laughs> <laughs> Finally making a little bit of money. <laughs> Took three generations. Yeah, it takes a little while to figure it out. Um, your dad boy. is actually still involved, right? Yeah, yeah. Your dad is the guy who started the show. And, and my grandpa, and actually. your grandpa did. Mm -hmm. So guys, cool. in this warehouse, there's everything from yeah. the iRobot vacuum to giant pallets of beds and futons and mattresses. I saw a hot tub. Um, I saw yeah, a bunch of golf clubs, golf clubs, clubs golf there's some clubs, guitars. Off of motor. <laughs> guys, this is, let me just tell you right now. You guys already know that I'm a hoarder, right? I'm, I'm, I'm finally admitting it. This is a hoarder's paradise. But what's crazy and that I just found out is they cycle through this entire warehouse every single week. So everything you see in here will be gone tomorrow and they reset and start a new cycle. How many pallets do you think? So you could be a super hoarder. 500, 600 in here? There's 600 lots. There's probably 800 plus pallets. Oh. We stack them all on auction day and send them back. You know, our bidders, they start out doing this and they fill their garage and then they fill every room of our house. Yeah. One of our bidders who remain anonymous, he has 16 storage units. Oh geez. my gosh. Which gives me anxiety to our goal. When you buy it and next thing you know, you got a roll of feathers. You <laughs> know, the feathers. smart bidders, they oh. sell it, they make their money and they donate and trash the rest. Yeah. Because if not, you start just accumulate. Yeah. So another thing I got to mention to you guys is, you know, when we first walked in here, I was like, hey, Robert, let me just buy this section from you. How much? He's like, bro, we can't do that. That's not fair, but this has to go up for bid. So that's what I love about this business is it is it is equally risky and equally rewarding it's for true. everyone across it's the true. board. There's no special deals or favors. What do you got? Anybody needs Bob's Burger season two? You Ooh. got the whole series. I would huh? love whole to. Series right here. Yep. Oh, yeah. So, uh, set that aside for me. Well, so <laughs> yeah, there's. So my brother has a neighbor, they've bought pallets and they've actually taken their kids to Disney World on just the money they've made off it. Yeah. But he said the thrill of just opening the pallets, one time he joked, can I pay $200 just to come open boxes? 100%, <laughs> because it's better than Disney World. You guys, I take this for granted, probably like you guys yeah. at your shop, right. I'm here every day. You see it all. This is all just stuff. Yeah. But if you've never been here, this it's is like nice. a magical kingdom here. Like This is know. a magical kingdom. So, uh, Robert like probably, was just telling us that the stuff he gets most excited about seeing is like sunscreen, deodorant, stuff like you use every day, simply because he's become so numb to all the cool shit that's in here. So Robert, a couple things I wanna ask before we yeah. start 
wandering. Sure. What advice would you give to a first time pallet buyer? Because some of these people, well, a lot of these viewers are gonna yeah, instantly right do here. this. I'm gonna yeah. try it. You know, I probably wouldn't do what these guys do and buy a whole truckload. <laughs> You would not do it when we were about to we've, do it? Yeah. <laughs> we've had, uh, honestly, I could think of a few people, they started out buying one or two pallets a week. Yeah. And then that went to two to four, mm -hmm. then six to eight. Now they're genuinely, routinely spending twenty to $30,000 a week. Which is what we usually do. We start at the top. Yep. Which means you know, they're you know, making the easy. money. Because yeah. if they're losing it, we never, it's like the casino. So the advice would be, buy start two, get your feet wet, buy a, buy a pallet or two. Yeah. See what you can do with it, liquidate it as quick as possible. And you also just said something that just stood out to me. If you don't want to become a hoarder like me, and if you don't have a ton of extra space, he said, sell what's valuable, trash or donate the rest. So that you don't end up hanging on to stuff that eventually is gonna, it will cost you money. Storing the stuff eventually costs you a, a lot of money. And he was just saying that he's got customers that you know have five, six, seven, 10, 15, 20 storage units full. Their garages of, are full, every room of their house is full. If I buy two pallets and I take the things that are nice out and then combine the two that are bad, can I run it through the auction again <laughs> the next week? Believe it or not, we used to do a lot of that, but now we don't even have room. Yeah. So do you, you don't do consignments with regular? No, we used to do it all the time. With this your main is, clients. We call it 100% the pure stuff, so. The pure stuff. He the was just telling stuff. me. There's a lot of back alley stuff going on here. Like, he was just telling me that eventually, he, uh, once in a while, they get what's called like a treasure pallet, meaning it's got like. Yeah. Show them the treasure some, pallet. Let's go. Yeah, let's go yeah, see yeah, the, the treasure pallet. pallet. Yeah. It's up here. Right here. Right. Answer your question. Yes. What? Star Wars. It's cookie jar. The, these oh. clothing ones, some of them, there's 800 to 1,000 pieces of clothing. Jeez. This is what we call health and beauty, where there's. Oh, okay. Where you find there goes all my money. <laughs> Break the piggy bank. Um, Des, I'm sorry for, for what I'm about to do. Is this a whole lot? Yeah, yeah, so we'll sell it by the whole rolling rack. I mean... No, okay. Well, Robert, what we're gonna do now is just go get real nosy. Yeah, And go do it. roam around. Uh, I'm sure we'll catch up with you okay. at the end here in a minute and figure out what we what we try to process what we're looking at. 100% make a lot numbers. All right, dude, well. Well, because I've got... This auction ends tomorrow and... You gotta get everything online. Yeah. Okay. All right, all right, so, dude, you do your thing. <laughs> and, uh, it's not gonna do itself. We no. It doesn't set up itself. So this is the part uh, where we divide and conquer. Sure. Let's let's begin. I cannot express to you the weird, anxious, exciting feeling that I have right now. It is the most bizarre feeling because I have a lot of stuff and I've been fortunate enough to do well in my career that I can go buy a lot of cool stuff. But for some reason, this is just getting me amped. Random uh, stuff so much better. Random stuff so much better. And I also have a tendency to like, get overly excited sometimes when I bid on stuff, especially vehicles at auctions, I've been known to spend more than other bidders simply because I was excited. So fortunately we're doing this for YouTube and YouTube gives us a reason to spend way too much money on the ultimate tummy control pants. Um, I mean, look at those. <sighs> That's only 45 inches. <sighs> That's huge. It's, it looked like it was a 90 pound. Uh, Kansas is only 45 pounds, true. man. I like, look how random this is right here. 45 pound weight, throw pillows. Bad boy, I'm in trouble, man. I like that I'm buying for sure. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna grab my phone, start taking pictures of all the lot numbers that I wanna buy. Bad boy's gonna document the process and uh, we'll see how upside down we get. Uh, are we level? Are we level yet? Oh man, mask, respirators, you I mean, I, I wanna bid on everything is the problem. It's like, there's no sense in me taking pictures of stuff because I just want to buy it all. Wipes, natural repel, insect wipes. Like this is Christmas for my family right here. There's a go-kart, Mac, right? Mac, like that's Mac. 269. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A five and a half, I'm a 10. What's a easy? I can fit into it. What's a easy? It's just a piece of wood. I don't like love easy up? Does. I know I'm in the oh. oh, Van wears those. I have a pair. Those are expensive. Thanks for Diesel. noticing. <laughs> <laughs> These are five and a half. I wear a ten. I could probably make it work. Are they real Yeezys? Yeah. Those are real. Made by Adidas. No, that's Adidas. <laughs> Unbelievable. But we can't go digging through them. This would actually be easier to just go online and look at the high level notes that they have in each palette and bid based off of that because this is overwhelming. This is too much for me to process because I'm going from one palette that was a bunch of theater chairs. The next one has go-karts. The next one has like trinkets. Like my brain cannot jump that quickly. A, a palette of tires, but not just a palette of tires because there's also a Milwaukee rebar tie tool in there. 
Like, let's say that box goes for 500 bucks. That one Milwaukee tool is probably $500 alone. So the rest of that is profit. Fun fact, I'm a bit of a pillow snob. Good texture, but it's too much height. It's decent. Right? Seven out of 10. Should we start pillow reviews? Yeah. Yeah, there's jumper cables. There's a harness. This is gonna be fun. I'm just worried about <laughs> where you're gonna be in 10 years with just a bunch of pallets around your house. I'm like a little mermaid, man. I just love my trinkets. Automotive stuff is definitely interesting to me. Like this AC compressor, a hundred bucks. I'm officially overwhelmed right now. Look, there's the studio lighting. What car do you have? I got a belt for it. I have got a belt for everyone. Do I need a log frame bed? Are you still looking for a bunch of corks? Wine bottle corks. <laughs> oh, a pressure washer. I'm definitely gonna. How about shovels? Shovels. <laughs> you you guys writing down lot numbers? I Wait. am, but the problem is I'm just. You're doing just, it for yourself. Well, no, I'm just randomly taking pictures because I'm overwhelmed and I'm just thinking that I need everything, so. Hold on, do you need 12 scoop shovels? Almost enough wheels to put on your truck. Look at that, 20 by 20, those are all sweet. Diesel's just getting too sidetracked. Oh. I say diesel's getting too sidetracked. Can't even finish the word sidetracked. You side couldn't track. even finish your sentence <laughs> before that muffler caught your eye. No, yeah. it's these freaking weed eaters, man. You are a sucker for garden Look equipment. at those. Uh, Hans actually has a separate channel where he does all sorts of DIY tips and tricks on <laughs> fixing sprinklers. You should check it out. It's really good. Ooh, there's the other wheels. Are you not gonna buy this freaking guitar? I have not found any sort of rhyme or reason to my walking yet. I keep thinking like, I'm gonna check out this area, check out that area. I've just done the, the biggest zigzag. So now I'm gonna get disciplined. Here we go. We're walking, we're staying focused. I'm gonna look at this side first. There's a shed right there. Oh, an electric kettle. 62 electric kettles. How's the pumpkin spice? It's terrible. They, they should never make pumpkin spice protein shakes. It's just very, it, it's like a, I feel like I'm drinking an identity crisis. It doesn't know whether it's pumpkin or chalk or, ooh, a safe. I feel like I'm drinking an identity crisis. Look at this. There's a freaking rear diff. A full third member out of a vehicle right here. Sneak peek at the reason why this makes sense. Oh, losing nuts and bolts. This is third member. Differential from what looks like maybe a spicer axle. Brand new. That right there is probably a two or three thousand dollar part. And it's in a pallet that's probably gonna go for what? It's our, it's our pallet. Man. Yeah. You find anything you worth bidding on? Hold yeah. on, are you are you're not buying your section, man? No, how no. What are you doing in our area? This is an equal opportunity experience no, for everybody. This isn't. You, we made a rule and you're supposed to stay on, on it the, together. The only pallet I can't bid on is the one with DPFs in it. <laughs> I, I legally can never touch a DPF off of a truck again. Ooh, a pallet of turbos. <laughs> Holy shit. This is like what we have in the back lot right That's now. That's what I was, I've already discussed that with the people. We don't need another pallet of turbos. It says who? Hold on. It says <laughs> our last pallet of turbos is just sitting. Do you need just one step? I can, I could, I could buy that and then hope and pray that at the next sale, the other one's coming through. I just feel like I have to buy something tomorrow. Oh yeah. They have roughly 600 pallets in here. And if we do some quick math, 600 pallets <laughs> times by, I think How he said the average pallet buy? goes for like 700 bucks. There's $420,000 worth of stuff in here. Probably higher. Cause some of the pallets oh, are worth like five higher. grand, but I bet you they'll, they'll gross close to half a million dollars on this week's sale alone. I mean, do you have to buy to get the Trump pinata thrown in? The Trump pinata. Wow. I don't think it's for sale. We should go over did to- Did you jump into a feathered bed box? Yeah, what did you do? He laid on that, that seven out of 10 pillow. Oh yeah, should we start pillow reviews? Did the pillow leave sheddings on me? I guess That's it did. six out of 10 then. We're doing pillow reviews now. You guys check out my new channel. Good texture, but it's too much. Seven out of 10? Yeah, pillow talk. Good pillow. I want that barrel. Well, I, guess this is all I mean, is the barrel full of wine? Nope. Is, is, is this a whole lot right here? It's never touched a ball, my man. This hands is a lot. So somebody, some golf expert out there is just identifying all those by the picture and he knows exactly how much he's gonna pay and exactly how much money he's gonna make on that. So I'm gonna avoid specialty items that are obvious, you know, like where you can see pretty much everything because 
So you need to go to the Amazon too. box. Where's that? You should film yourself bidding on it tomorrow, like getting up oh, yeah. bidding, like getting like really pissed. 100%. Okay. That's gonna, <laughs> that's gonna happen gonna for real, really yes. Okay. Everything ends in 20 second closing at eight. Yeah. But if someone bids in the last minute, it extends it five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah. What's it's the like, average extension per item? It's actually not, not as many as you Is think. Is it not? Mm -hmm. Today, what's the bid increments? 25s. 25 dollars? Mm -hmm. Man. This is. Well, I'm excited. Wait, this is gonna be a pillow. cool video. You're excited. I have the anxiety. <laughs> There's. Oh, another pillow. Hold on. So here we have a standard queen pillow by Indulgence. Uh, it's got a good weight to it. This pillow, you can tell it's uh, they use premium materials. Um, one thing about pillows like this, though, you gotta be careful because sometimes they try to be too fancy and they get carried away, and you know they end up basically packing so many features into one pillow that it's not even comfortable. But we're gonna go ahead and give it a, we're gonna go ahead and give this one a lay real quick. That's a nice pillow. That's a, that's a honestly, if that was a king size pillow, cause it's just a queen, it's a little small for me. That's a solid eight all day. I have to take a note of that. Oh, it's a side sleeper pillow. That's why it's nice. Cause I'm a, I'm a multi-sleeper, a side sleeper. I'm not a belly. Kind of a weird description. <laughs> so we found a hot tub. We're definitely taking that one. Uh, one thing you got to notice is some of these lots come together. So even though there's two pallets, it's one lot. So this is 383, one of two, two of two. So don't be uh, don't be confused by one pallet or two pallets being just one bid. Insect repellent? That would be the box I buy. That would be 100%. the one clear full of insect repellent. What the vital swing therapeutic wellness machine? Oh, that's got Healthy monitoring cat litter. Right there, we've got a couple of DeWalt miter saws. It all depends on, on how much you're willing, what your time's worth. There's gonna be people who their time, they've got nothing but time on their hands, so they're willing to you know spend more and make a little bit less because they don't have, you know, this is what they do maybe full time or whatever, so. So you need another pillow? Yeah, well, yeah, what do you got? Those are actually that's the indulgence by isotonic. So it feels like damage, it sleeps like damage, which is cool. Right here. Write Ooh, this, this one down. A, Amazon. You look for these ones. It's got like a cheap table across the top. Hi. So this is just a literal box, box of, Amazon, of order. Amazon stuff. So you can see the top ones were opened by these guys so that they could give you kind of a rough idea of what's on top. But there's like five levels of stuff that I don't have no idea what it is. This person had shoulder problems and they also needed a new drill bit set. LED solar torch lights, I could see you doing those on your DIY channel, Hans. Oh, what? oh my DIY channel? Yeah. That's just a human. Ooh, it smells like cigarettes. That case is awesome. You think there's something in this case? You can use it for hunting, camera gear. Nope, nothing in it. Let's open it up just so we can get a good look at it. Get a good look at a T-bone steak by sticking your hand up a butcher's. It's just, I'm just so worried about my competition tomorrow. You know, I feel like there's a lot of, a lot of people who know what they're doing. That's the frustrating thing about this. There's just gonna be me up there. Everyone's probably like, oh, you guys got the upper hand going to look at it. No, no, no we no. didn't. <laughs> all, all we're this doing right now. Us. Exactly, all we're doing right now is getting overwhelmed and confused. It's not like you can dig very far in these boxes. I can see better from my computer. <laughs> because I would at least be able to have some way to organize this. Is it wrapped up? Is you it? want to get hold wrapped on. up in a so bunch let's, of... Hold on, let me, let's, just, let's just play this out, okay? Ready? Okay, hold let's on. Play this out. No, I'm a bad guy, you're good. You want to buy it, I want, don't want to buy it. You just, Hans just said, this is the box you want to stay away from. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prove to you whether that's true or not. Because the whole purpose of this lesson is to show you that everything is not as it seems. You mean you so, wanted this XL turtleneck? Tell me what, think, what makes you think that that box is not what you want. Because it's an XL turtleneck that is... Those are like, XL... Adidas pants. XL turtleneck. Those are windbreaker pants that are actually Those pretty are nice. sweet. Those are actually nice. See, hold on, wait, 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 wait. It gets better though. This open box of white. You could literally have brand, 10 brand new wife beaters. Which? Okay, <laughs> top of that, let's say you're a sneakerhead or you have a friend who's a sneakerhead. I bet you those vans right there are probably worth at least 50 bucks. You throw those on eBay, whatever. Hold on, to play are they my size? We're not done. We're, we're still gonna make an example of you. I just. Okay, smoke rise pants. These pants have a full blown poem on them. What? 42 by 32. Uh, oh, like my that. point exactly. No, hold on. I'm just looking up right now to see what a box yeah. of. No, we're gonna, we're gonna find out right now. We're gonna shirt those. We're gonna work through this. Okay, how about XL camo shorts? I'd buy those from you. 
Would you? Yes. You'd buy those. I'm, Hold I'm, on, XL camo. What about these Nike shoes? I would wear those. Jason would wear those all day. You keep my wife out of this. No, I won't. Jaycee's, she's Hold part on. of the program now, whether she likes it or not. I think she would. I would wear those. Those are pretty high. Like the, uh, the, the soles are really thick. Okay, no doubt. Let's $1,000 eBay this tomorrow. I got you, buddy. This has got a lot of nice clothes in it. Okay. I go 500 bucks all day. $500. On lot number you would 288. Crush it. Yeah, right? You would crush it. I don't know why Hans thinks he's proven the point. $500 sold by what time? Sold like. Doesn't like, matter. Like, let's put a time stamp on it. No, no, no. We're not putting a time stamp on it. 2025. I'll, I'll ask Ashley what the time stamp is. I might buy it all for myself. Oh, Air Force Ones? Are you kidding me? Bro. What size? Tell me. Wait, those, those are the, the ones. Shoes. Yeah, they're Air Force Ones. <laughs> what? Paparazzi jewelry. All right, so maybe you sold me on that one. XL turtle neck. That's, I Maybe. feel like they all probably have that same story, buddy. There's a, there's a, I there's a foot tell you for guys every about carpet. my motto in life. Yeah. There's a butt for every exactly. seat. Meaning, Are you gonna make fun of I'm it? gonna. Is that where you're going? <laughs> I'm gonna send inch. you down the river on this pink kayak, little baby Moses. <laughs> but nobody's gonna rescue you. <laughs> there's, a, there's a 15 mole tool holster and an R2D2. Mm. I'm a man. Where's somewhere nobody's been? This way. Feel that hand. Nice shovels. You ain't gonna slip on that. Really. 80 inch TV. Those are great for sprinklers. Hey. Yeah, right past the <laughs> the diaper rash ointment, skin protector, and the adult. Oh, is that an adult diaper rash ointment? Yeah. I found Jim's Christmas present because that's a rototiller attachment. Mallets, man pallets. You just skipped over the pillows. Oh. Okay. Okay. There's more Yeezys right there. Mini trash cans are nice. Okay. Electric bikes. Say less, fam. Oh, nice bow and arrow, man. Oh, this little thing. Finger breaker 5000. Banana chair. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. See, here's a pallet that, that really it could, could throw off a buyer. And this is a warning for you guys. This pallet's like, hell yeah, Husqvarna climbing rope. Climbing rope is not cheap, first of all, okay? Uh, there's a Yeti cooler. You're like, hell yeah, I'm onto something. And then there's bundles of styrofoam cup lids. A gel flex memory foam mattress. Oh. And then there's a bunch of bamboo paper plates. Good. If you're bidding on the stuff, you might think like, oh my gosh, that pallet's probably full of Husqv Husqvarna climbing rope. Those are 500 bucks a piece. And then you end up with a bunch of bamboo plates. Flavored pig mix. Another indulgent by Sedona for the standard queen. This is for the back and the stomach seat. Now, did we make it down the floor? I'm going to Google Ooh, tonight. Baby blanket yours. That. The, 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 the marketing. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Bro, that's like a 20 pound ball. How's <laughs> it supposed to hit your head? Jesus, guy. You. you can throw it at me. I'm ready now. I I'm deserve right. it. Hit me with it. This I'm show's sorry. called Bumblebee. I read it as Dumb Blaster. <laughs> I read it and thought, Dumb Blaster? That's a knockoff of Transformers? Dumb Blaster? <laughs> we have wandered long enough to see some pretty exciting things. We're also now getting fairly hungry, so what we're gonna do is head out, try to process what we've seen here, regroup, make a game plan, grab some food, hit the internet, start dropping some bids, because tomorrow morning, Daddy's spending some money. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on, right, right. I first wanna go back and see if we've been outbid yet. Wait, hold on, hold on. As we're cruising through here, I see we're the, currently the highest bidder <laughs> on a few chairs. That's a gaming, that's a chair. gaming chair. Heck yeah. yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, you about. bet a gaming chair. Gaming chair. <laughs> <laughs> $550, you better get that thing. That's it, fine. You're the highest bidder. Highest bidder. One minute left. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm so bid, oh, hold on. Here you go, 59, 58, come on, baby, come 57, on. Come on, 56. Baby. Bring it home. Bring oh, man. Are you nervous right now? Very nervous. I'm nervous. It's a lot more money than it's I was expecting. It's sad that there's 27 bids. We were the last one. We got it. That means that we obviously were way too high. <laughs> yeah. Come on, baby. 20 seconds, 18, 17. We're going to win. 15. We're going to win. 14. We're going to win. Come on, baby. 12. Bring it home. Oh, yeah. 10. Oh, my eight, gosh. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year. What no? Wait. That was anticlimactic. It doesn't. Let me check my emails. <laughs> it's very anticlimactic. I think we won it. I was just waiting for balloons. I thought <laughs> balloons were gonna happen. You I wanted more like <laughs> surprise. So oh, great. <clears throat> we've been outbid on the gaming chair. This isn't my money, however. <clears throat> it's Diesel Dave's money. Mm -hmm. Oh, if he was willing to go five seven.
Four minutes. Okay, what did we find out? Do we bid it up again? Is that why we got more time? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's weird. <laughs> no, I don't know what happened. That somebody must have bid on that one. Cappuccino? That's a cappuccino maker, man, and that vacuum. So you said you want to go 700? Yeah. On to the next one. What the freak, man? Oh, these guys. Go up to 700. What in the Already? actual F? I meant 725. We're done. Is that an air fryer? Do you want to bid on this one? Bid it on up. What do you want to do? 525. Come on, hurry, hurry. You got 41 seconds. I'll bid already. Take oh, trampoline? It's a bed frame for $700. Motion air queen setup for $700, as you can see. Damn it. Do we know if we want it? Uh, fast, you get $700. That's not worth $575. Oh, this one's selling for $4,500. Don't you think we need a bid on it? 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32. This is mine. Read the description. No, don't read the any sorted paper, plastic goods. Why are you bidding on that? <laughs> are you better homes and garden product? Exactly. <laughs> You're welcome, and it's ours for a whopping two seventy-five. Oh, seven, two, We've only got two two lots. This is hard. No, no. You this, have pulled this, You have no idea what hey, we're going through right now. This one didn't make it either. We have one. Oh no. <laughs> that was the electric gaming chair, massage chair. Hold on. Hey, right here, forty-eight sevens. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That gun top, baby! 10, 9, 3, 3 2, 1! We win! Baby. Yeah. No, we've been going hard. No. A fee last night, Dave and I got on and without knowing a bit against each other. <laughs> I, had a good, I had a good feeling we were. And we ran the prices up. Oh, they, they're selling furniture left and right, guys. They're closing oh, left and right on us. Pull off the green cushions. Zapper. Zap. Hold on, we're about to win this bad dog right here. 564. Another welcome sign. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, I'll teach you off for me like three grand. So no deal. Right, we're going to find Robert. We got a lot of guys with horse trailers, people in vans. People with their own uh, pallet jack. Problem is, they brought me in after the fact. <laughs> so, you know, there's a 600 lots and we bought roughly 50. So, odds are this one isn't ours. Escape. Escape. Day we get a stack of about 25 pizzas for all of our customers. Oh heck yeah! Yes, yeah, so we'll party a little. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna need a functioning forklift, guys. First load of loot. Well, this warehouse that we have doesn't have a loading dock. Our warehouse next door does, but that's a different building. We don't want to use that, so we have to use the pallet jack to get these boxes to the edge of the trailer and then figure out how to uh, creatively move the pallet jack so the forklift short forks can still reach in there. There's the ladder! That's a rapid drying system. <laughs> well, Hey there! 
Guys, boy, do I have a bunch of rods. Make a lot of Story for you. So, it's been about three weeks or so since we went absolutely full blown honey baked ham at the <laughs> pallet auction. We went into the auction thinking like, you know what? We'll each buy like five pallets each and see what happens. The invoice total ended up being, yours was like uh, about uh, 11,000. My invoice was about 19,000. So all in all, we spent about $30,000 and that brought home uh, like 55 pallets, yeah. something like that. And we've been sorting through the stuff for the last few weeks. Flashback. You ready for this? Pallet auctions. End of flashback. You got that? Oh, hey, what's up, Chubb? Just found yeah, it today. Chubb. What up, Chubb? Just got it today. So nice everything job. from a nice Chubb jersey, we're not sure who Chubb is yet, to a giant piece of all thread. I mean, guys, the pallet auction has got you covered with an industrial sized box of maxi pads. I don't know who we're, I'm not gonna get into that right now, we're gonna do that. A table, <laughs> that was a great move. Yeah. That was one of my better yeah, moves actually. I'm proud of myself I right now. I when you stop. Yeah. <laughs> We've got drill bits, more duct tape than you can even imagine. Bamboo plates, giant box of Chinese takeout boxes. <laughs> Listing this stuff. The giant Holy sh I'm taking that home because yeah. I have yeah, well, uh, when you when you when you go to the pallet auction. Zion's gonna oh, get fat. Look at those popcorn buckets. Ah, that's hey, the only thing I wanted. Here's what happens. Good news and bad news. The good news is there's oh yeah, no. there's a lot of oh there's some nice. So oh bike tires, you got giant pieces of pipe and all thread. You've got a weird wrench. These are also coming home with me because these are some very nice metal files. So, Show holy sh! How come nobody told me about this? Oh, it's because I don't have the adjuster, Dave. <laughs> I don't need no adjuster. Perfect fit. Uh. <laughs> there's items in here that are completely worthless, and then there's items in here that are worth like a thousand dollars. Holy sh! Like this snatch block. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a massive snatch block. So our, our guy Ron went to work selling, selling, selling. I would say we've sold about 50% of the items in here. And guess how much money we've made? Take a wild guess. In fact, before I tell you, drop a comment below and tell me how much total sales you think we've made so far. I'll wait, do the Jeopardy music. These guys are really good at whistling. I was not expecting that. $27,580 is what we sold so far. About $4,000 away from breaking even. As Ron continues to sell these goodies, as long as we don't take them all home, like the snatch block, I'm definitely, oh yeah, we're keeping that. Ferrari oil filters, holy shit. Ferrari oil filters. I'll bet you these are probably worth 100 bucks a piece. The reason why this is important, oh, there's a nice, uh, hey, take this back from my skid loader. One of the one of the biggest money makers that we've found here is clothing, believe it or not. Clothing. Hans, what's it gonna take for you to put the shirt on? I'll put it on right now. Guys, there's like nice clothing in here. Like that. <laughs> Anyways, I found the sickest pillow I've ever ooh. I'm, uh, so all sorts of bedding. So oh look at this. <laughs> A box full of locks. I guess we are gonna to continue to waste your time because there's so much exciting stuff to tell you about. Skill saw blades, weed whackers, turbine powered leaf blower that also doubles as a weed whacker. Hey, Mr. Lawn Care himself. It's me, man. Furniture. This thing, what, what is this? Anybody need a freaking badass two stroke engine that came out of something? I don't know what it is. Hey, can you put this in my truck? Why do you it? That right there, my friends, is gonna keep my wife from putting holes in our garage wall. $27,000, $28,000 is what we've made so far. We still have a lot of goods to sell. The way the post office works is they have these medium sized flat rate boxes and whatever you can fit in there, you can ship. The first 100 of you who drops a comment below and tags a friend and gets them to subscribe to our channel, we're gonna send these two buttholes through the warehouse. They're gonna take, yeah, no, you chub this. They're gonna, they're gonna take a box, they're gonna grab a random item. Anybody need a helmet? That's probably a $200 helmet. We're just gonna send it to you for free. This, my friends, is a sump pump. This thing right here is probably worth like a thousand bucks. If it fits in the box, we're gonna ship it. We're probably gonna go a little bit harder and ship some really big items too, just to surprise some of you. Virtually indestructible ball. That's actually pretty awesome. Yeah, All right, so 
slightly smashed. <laughs> so that's some false advertising right there. We will not be shipping out any of those. Oh, it goes my first present. Oh. Here's what's gonna happen, guys. We love you. We appreciate your support. We realize this is probably one of the most random videos you've ever seen, but the whole purpose here was to show you that these pallet auctions are A, a lot of fun, and B, a great side hustle. This is actually a really great way to make some extra money because in some of these pallets, in fact, I'll show you one. This is pretty cool. There was a pallet that had a bunch of like electric motors in it. I think it had all these motors. I priced these. <laughs> 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 buying the pallet, which was actually a steel crate because these are so heavy with all these electric motors in it. I priced all these motors out. $13,000 worth of motors right here. Not a joke, guys. This is a big deal. So if you're looking for a side hustle, looking for a way to make a little extra cash, log in. I'm going to give you guys the link to uh, the auction website below. They are here in Utah, so uh, they don't ship. You're going to have to be able to come out and pick it up. You could, but you could send like a freight company or a hot shotter to go get it. But dude, for 200 bucks, you could buy $13,000 worth of electric motors. Look at these jacks right here, these bulldog jacks, super expensive. I'm pretty sure I'm into these things like 25 bucks a piece. There's just like auto parts. There's a couple of pools right there. Bottom line, this is a lot of fun. We, I think, are gonna end up making roughly 10 to $20,000 in profit on this auction. But more importantly, we're gonna be able to surprise the sh out of a lot of you guys with some of the most random stuff in the world. However, I don't think we're gonna ship out the indestructible ball because that was not as indestructible as we thought. Also, one last thing before we wrap up here. Land Rover Defender, you guys remember this? This is part of the Power Box giveaway. One of the coolest defenders in the entire world. Well, the owner, or well, the winner lives in Canada. Turns out it's really hard to import this year and model. Is that Sorry. the <laughs> ding, ding, ding. As I was saying, it's really hard to import this vehicle into Canada, like almost damn near impossible just because of uh, some of their vehicle laws up there. So the winner took cash, which means we still have this bad boy. I think we already have somebody that's going to buy it from us. It might already be sold. So bottom line, if you're interested in having a good time, rolling the dice, make a little bit of money with a side hustle, go to a local pallet auction, preferably Irklands and Olsons because those are our boys and they're right here in Salt Lake City. Link is in the description below. and. Enjoy. A box of those were actually staples.